everyone, and welcome on like literally the last day that this event is out because I actually forgot. I I thought I'd actually done it. I hadn't. Oops. Welcome to Little Ladies Day 2019. I almost forgot for a second. Princess of Flowers reward the flower crown. The unsettled stationelle is eyeing you so plenitively that it is becoming difficult to ignore. Quest limited time yet. Yeah. Uh, please, good sir, you must help me. The young mistress has gone missing and I. I beg your pardon? This is hardly an appropriate way to begin a conversation, is it? Oh, I quite forget myself. I quite forgot myself for a moment. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Rudolph. Not Rudolph, Rudolph. And I have the honor of serving the noble Thorn family. The young lady of whom I spoke is... Oh my god, that's a name. Al... Aldetha. Aldetha Thorn. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Whose whereabouts I regret to report are currently unknown. Should I know who that is? Escape the gilded cage, I take. <laughs> oh, do I go with... Normal or sassy? Normal or sassy? Oops, I accidentally clicked sassy. A fair question, and one I... One which I shall endeavour to answer to the fullest. Spare no detail. Our words I live by in this profession, you see. Can that be the answer for both questions? I think it can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going for the top answer and ignoring how sassy I was. <coughs> uh, you have doubtless heard of the Thorn Dynasty, the period in Uldan history that began some 300 years ago. During this time, the Thorn family reigned in the Sultanate. Though they relinquished their stewardship over the nation in favor of restoring the Ul to the throne, the noble scions of the Thorn Thorn line have continued to occupy positions of great social importance. I've already forgotten how you pronounce it. Aldita. Lady Aldita is the eldest daughter of the current head of the family. Nice guy liner. I never noticed it. Alas, she has always been frail of body. For her protection, I do my utmost to keep her from the perils of the outside world. But she has been paler than usual as of late. And when I went to look in on her this morning, I found that she had uh, given me the slip, one might say. Ever courteous, she left behind a note stating that she intended to join in the Little Ladies' Day celebrations in town. I certainly understand her desire to do so, given that her health has prevented her attending in previous years. However, it is far too dangerous for her to cavort about the city on her own. If she were to be taken ill, or some misfortune to befall her, I would never forgive myself. Oh, it's the legend of the lost lady all over again. So shall we start the search sometime this century, or... Oh, the legend of the lost lady, tell me more. No, 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 I know all about that, about... The way back when it was, I don't remember, my be Thorn might not have been. It was basically the Prince of the Pauper. Uh, she swapped with a beggar girl, and then the father tortured the family. And then she was like, no, actually, I snuck out. And I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, let, let's, let's continue. Let's go on with the search. Good heavens, in sparing no detail, I lost sight of the larger picture. Yes. We must find Lady Al Aldetha immediately. Though I admit that even with both of us set to the task, it would be nigh impossible to locate her without knowing where in the city she might be. Well, literally the festival is to the left of us. That's generally where it's held, so maybe start there? Well, the right of you. I have it. Responsible for overseeing the festivities as he is, the Royal Sessionelle 
surely has knowledge that we lack. Lady Aldithia may even have spoke with him. We should seek his aid first and foremost. Please follow me. You, you basically just said what I said, so good job. Alright, let's do it. Ba, ba, ba. There's a big stage. And a. Uh, uh, should we. Yes, let's look. Uh, oh, uh, it's right in the way, I can't see. It's wonderful to see you again, my friend. Have you come to celebrate Little Lady's Day with us? I don't think that's a voice. I think I gave him a more adult voice. Oh well. As you see here. Wait a minute. Are you here to enjoy this celebration? Or perhaps you wish to act as such an elf or someone, don't you? Either way, I'm certain we can make your dream come true. I am terribly sorry, sorry to bother you during the festivities, but we are in urgent need of your assistance. Why, if it isn't Rodolf? He seemed rather, rather, quite distressed. Am I correct then in assuming that this concerns Miss Aldea? Aldetha? Uh, yes, as it happens. She was to join the other citizens in celebrating Little Lady's Day. But she left home unaccompanied, and I fear that my chances of locating, locating her without help are slim. That is distressing indeed. Though I've not seen her pass by, I shall of course join you in the search. I've yet to thank her for the daisies after all. Daisies? No, we could spare... We could spare no... What? We can spare no details. Oh, for God's sake, you're an idiot. We can spare no details later. Lady Aldithia is our priority. Well then, we can begin with a, the main thoroughfare on which we stand. It is the centre of the facilities. Festivities. And is always bustling with little ladies and their sessionelles. If Aldithia wished to join the celebration, she could not fail to be drawn to it. In that case, we should spread out so as not to, to miss her. Kind of Fetra, please search for a dignified young lady with long dark hair between where we stand at the gates of Nalt. The Royal Sessionelle and I will cover the opposite direction. That's not exactly how splitting up works. If there's three people, you don't split into two groups. God damn Scooby Doo! Well, there's a dark-haired lady. It's not likely to be her, because if it's the Thorn Dynasty, I believe they're all Lalafels, so... Let's see. I could be wrong. Let's not be super racist. Okay, I was racist. Fair enough. Yes, I am Aldithia Thorn. Why do you ask? Rudolph sent you? Oh dear, I didn't think he would find me so quickly. Lady Aldithia! Oh, thank the heavens you are unharmed. Who knows what may have come to pass without your assistance? The two of you have my thanks. Come now, we had best return home before you tax yourself over much. I like that necklace. Anyways, I appreciate your concern, Rodolph, but that I cannot do. I have a mission this little lady's day, and I will see it through. A mission? Whatever is it? It cannot be more important than your health. I will not simply wait until you collapse, or worse. Is her life at least here out safety first? Ah, let her decide. It's the lady's day. 
Thank you, dear adventurer. I'm sure you'll understand why this is so important to me. You see, as a thorn, Little Lady's Day has always held special meaning for me. I was raised on the legend of the Lost Lady, and as I grew older, it became my dream to bring joy to the people of Uldar, just as Sultan Baldric once did. My illness, however, has kept me from so much. Eventually, I decided that if I could not write in people's hearts on Little Lady's Day myself, I would at least contribute something that could. That is why I begin growing daisies in the garden. Miraculously, as they sprouted and bloomed, my body grew stronger, and I began to think that my dream might at last come true. You and I both know that my fortune will likely not last, but that is all the more reason to do what I can right now. All that I ask is this one day. Such a kind soul! I cannot speak for Rodolph, but your words have touched me deeply. As of your actions, while the Thorns are always generous in their provisions for Little Lady's Day, to receive so many beautiful flowers this year was a true delight. If I may ask, why did you choose to grow daisies? Your family's crest picks peach blossoms, does it not? That is why we typically use them as the motif for Little Lady's Day. Uh, could we have been mistaken all this time? I'm glad that you asked. But that is a secret to be revealed at a later time. For now, I would like to begin weaving these daisies into crowns, so that we may present them to the many princesses of Uldar. Crowns of flowers? What a splendid idea! Please allow us to assist you. I will send my, set my, set my staff to the task at once. Wonderful! The preparations will go so much more smoothly with the Royal Sessionelle's cooperation. Rodolph, pray bear with me a little longer. I. I cannot, though I am loath to disappoint you. As your sessionel, it falls to me to protect you. Your health notwithstanding, it is simply not safe for you to wander the city. We cannot assume that all who walk these streets have motives as pure as your own, little ladies, day or no. You can't be to take me back, not when I'm so close. I mean, I can help. I will accompany you and guarantee your safety myself. Allow me to serve as her Seychelles today. Oh yes, I like that one much better. Huh. I have no means to protect her out here in the city, but you have. So if you were to take on that responsibility, very well then. But I cannot well cede all of my duties to you, so I will, will remain with you until the lady is ready to return home. Oh, thank you so very much. Let's go and crown some princesses right away. Lady uh, Aldithia, please do not sprint so. I haven't finished making the flower crowns yet. Oh, never mind. Well, I have no doubt that she will succeed in putting smiles on the faces of many a little lady with their flower crowns. Assuming she has them on hand, I will have my staff bring along what the ones that are finished so that you can take some with you. I mean, you just asked us, sir. Can you give us at least five minutes? Thank you. Here we are. Please go after Miss Aldithia and see that these find their way to the heads of would be princesses. Can do, will do, shall do. I am on my way. Alright, where's she gone? That away. Sprint. 
Wait a minute. Do I have them on me? Oh, I do! You know what? An actual use for the Strider Boots! Which, if you've never seen them before, basically gives you a slightly increased sprint. Sorry, am I in the way? But no! A ring of vibrant daisies fit for a princess! made of flowers? It's so pretty! Do you think that if I wear this I could be a princess too? On Little Ladies Day everyone's a princess! I really can! Oh, this is the best day ever! I have to go and tell Father that he's my Sessionel now! <laughs> Do you see? Did you see her smile? It's wonderful that even hundreds of years later, the legend of the Lost Lady can bring people such joy. Shall we try the steps of Thal next? I'm certain we can find others who dream of becoming princesses. Lady Altithia, I spared no detail of warning you of the dangers of running mere moments ago. 30 seconds on a sprint? Oh, what shall I do with all this excess time? Apart from activate it before going through, like an idiot. That's not the way up, it's in the next area. Wait a minute, it's next to... Weaver's Guild. Let's save a couple of seconds. Do, 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 do. Ooh, right next to the blue mage. Ba 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 ba. Ooh, a mature princess. I forgot to talk to them last time as well. This woman surely deserves a flower crown. I know her husband will love it as well. I must admit, I scarce remember when I last saw Lady Aldithia so happy. My wife and I have come to enjoy a little lady's day. I've been so I've been so busy with work to spend time with her as a late. But the festivities give me an excuse to put my duties aside and take her on a romantic stroll. Hello, can I be of service? Yeah, have yourself a cl a clower crown. A clower crown? Ah, it's a clower frown! A crown of flowers? Are you quite certain you mean to give this to me? Surely there are younger ladies whom it would better suit. There is no mistake, I assure you. Though you may not... They, though you may not no longer be little, I am certain that you are a lady who is a princess at heart. Well, tis true that as a child, I always dreamed of being a princess, fully dressed billowing as I glide gracefully through the palace halls with a doting Seychelles at my side. How do I look? If you're going to laugh, hurry up about it. You are a vision of beauty, my lady. If I might be so bold, it is an honour to serve one as lovely as gentle as. Stop! Stop! Oh, God, I'm blushing. Well, don't go and make it seem embarrassing. I always dreamed of having a princess to treasure, you know? And I, and I found you! And, uh, oh no, I'm blushing! Bugger! Thank you. It seems both our childhood dreams have come true. I never expected to feel 
so much like a princess at my age. What a darling couple! Little Litties? Little Ladies Day really does have the power to touch people's hearts, no matter their age. For we were all children once. Children listening starry-eyed to tales of princesses and sessionelles. Childhood tales. Yes, I remember. It was for the same reason that I dreamed of becoming a sessionelle. To do my utmost to make one lady, one princess, smile. But can I truly say I have been living up to that ideal as of late? <laughs> Lady Aldithia, you all right? I'll be fine, though I suspect you were right. I should not have run so much earlier. Let us return to the Royal Seychelles. I will contact your father and ask that a carriage be sent. Dun, dun. Ba, 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 ba. Alright, so we want to go back to the main meteorite. Burp. Don't know, I just wanted to do that. Oh, that was weird. Oh, because all are unactivated. <laughs> I didn't realise I'd activated that, so I got very confused there. Alright, back to the old uh, Etherite Plaza. I apologize for worrying you. I'll be fine. Perhaps all this excitement at once was a bit much for her. Lady Aldithia seems to be doing well for the moment. And we shall return home without further exertion on her part. Rest assured, there is no cause for you to worry. Thank you. Because of your help, I was finally able to make my dream come true. I am so so sorry to repay your kindness with more travel. Nah, it's fine. Now, now, don't you worry over making others worry. Then everyone will be worried. Or don't we folk discuss something else instead? Perhaps you are ready to share with us your reason for chasing daisies, for instance. But of course. I will tell you the story while we wait for the carriage. After Sultan Baldrick served as Sejanel to the Miller girl, he chose to do the same e once each year for, for other Uldan ladies. It is said that this was his way of reminding himself and others that all girls should be treasured. Then, one year, the girl he had chosen to be princess for the day presented him with a bouquet of daisies to thank him for his service. The daisies that grow in Uldar are hardy, capable of proliferating even in our arid climes. This made them popular among the common folk, for even those without a proper garden could grow or pick them. Of course, for the same reason, the nobles considered them beneath notice at best. Amongst the nobility, presenting someone with such common flowers might even be considered an insult. So when the little lady gave them to the Sultan, his attendants could do naught but hold their breath in trepidation. But knowing how hard the girl had worked to pick them, the Sultan gladly accepted the daisies. He bade his attendants fashion them into circuit, circlets, and 
removing his own royal crown, placed one on his head, and another on hers. We are the same, you and I, he said, smiling. Ever since, the Thorn family has considered daisies to be, a sim to be symbols of happiness. That your flower, flower, flower. I saw, why do I keep saying flower? That your flower crown had such meaning behind them. I had no idea. And as your sessional, I should have. I should have asked. I should have listened to, to every detail. But I am listening now. And if there is one thing I've learned today, it is that every lady deserves to be treated as a princess. So I ask. Does that not include you as well? How do I look? Just like a princess, just like so. <laughs> oh, what do I pick? What do I pick? I don't want princess is the nice answer for that. No, I've got to pick princess. Be nice to her. Everyone else, eh, uh, who cares? P to be honest, that is what I was hoping to hear. Oh, and it seems Rodolf is one for you as well. We're the same, you and I. I've always wanted to say that. Ba, 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 ba. It seems that my lady is not the only one following in the footsteps of Sultan Baldric today. You not only watched over Lady Aldithia, you helped me understand what is most important to her. In granting her wish, you have granted mine as well. Thank you. I can hardly express my gratitude. I've never had such a wonderful day in all my life, and it's because you were here to help my dream come true. Thank you. I only wish that I could, but didn't have to leave so soon. Nah, it's fine. If that is your wish, we will simply have to find a way for you to stay longer next year. For my part, I'm grateful to all of you. This will be a little lady state to remember. For many of us, I'm sure it. But it's not over for you and I, is it, adventurer? We must work to see flower crowns in the hands of the many princesses and sessionals yet. Of many, not of the many. Well, flower, flowerly crown. Complete. Seasonal event complete. 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 Toodles. Enjoy the rest of your day. Princess Vega! And for that, we get a repeatable quest. But. Ah, there it is. Why haven't I got me out for chewing? Idiot. I mean, it's pretty nice. God, there's so many colours, isn't there? Even though everyone wants more. I mean, yellow works relatively well because of, like, daisies and sunflowers and that kind of mix. Oh, I'm actually quite curious how... I'm going to zoom in for these. How the metallic ones are going to work. So, we have, yeah, the pure colours. Eh, doesn't look awful. I actually expected it to be more metallic. Yeah, let's leave it like that for now. Why not? 
One short day on Emerald Avenue. Ooh, can you see all those characters? The Royal Sessionelle is eager to see more floral crowns on the heads of Little Ladies Day celebrants. Celebrants? Limited time quest. If you have the time, I could certainly use more assistance in presenting our fire crowns to those on Emerald Avenue. As I mentioned, it is at the centre of our Little Ladies Day celebration, and nearly a moment passes without a would-be princess or Sessionelle walking by. I will divide my remaining stock with you. Please wait by yonder pink tree and offer crowns to any potential celebrants who I have missed. My staff is weaving more of a as up we speak, so return to me when you need it to resupply. So basically what this is, it's a bunch of like NPC characters that we know and we get to see them. Uh, there's a very special one for me, but it's random so I don't know if the first one's random, but let's see. Our first contestant is... Oh, fair enough. Is that you, my loyal servant? Why are you standing about gormlessly in the middle of town? A flower crown? How utterly banal. Though, we're one to apply an admixture of the appropriate viscosity and tra translucence, it may be possible to preserve its beauty ever more, thereby defying principles that have been heretofore that have heretofore been presumed unyielding. Hmm. Perhaps I do require one after all. That's the Alchemist Guild, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Guildmaster Riddle and Rose, if I'm not mistaken. What brings you here? Ah, the best of the Thaumaturges Guild. I recall the eye patch. So, you must be Coco. Uh. Ugh, Yes. Oh, that was it. That's your question. I've come to evaluate the fashions of the day. By evaluate, I mean simply, I simply mean observe, of course. I am not keeping score. Who would do that? Ha 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 ha. Not, not a gold saucer joke at all. Anyway, the flower crowns are certainly are charming, are they not? Charming. Yes. Such an embellishment would ill suit me. Pussy, on the other hand. What crime, my good man? A pleasing head piece. I am perhaps suitable for later use in alchemical solutions. Pussy, you'd be delighted. His name may be impossible to remember, but he's unmistakably the eldest brother. I do hope his siblings know how much he cares. Hiya. See ya. Fair enough. I'm a bit upset that Coco didn't, like, actually acknowledge that he knew me, but okay, sure. Alright, so that one seemed like it was random, rather than one that they'd picked to do first. Oh, you've returned! How'd you fare? What a charming tale! We shall have to relate it to Miss Aldathia. She'll be delighted to know that her crowns are the, the, source, of, yeah, the source of such happiness. For my part, I appreciate your continued assistance. Needless to say, You'll always be welcome to join me and act as Sationelle to the little ladies of Uldar. Alright. We've got a lot of years to go through. So. If this one isn't a brand new one, which, given there's quite a few of them, it damn well better be. Then. 
basically we're just going to go through them. Also, I saw Estination and I thought Estinian and I was like, oh, I want to see Estinian here. That would be awesome. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Alright, who we got this time? <gasps> but who is this random lady that I don't know? Why, how nice to see you, Alexander. Tis I, your favourite merchant's daughter. Come to enjoy the little ladies' day celebration. Yes, Lilira, you are a merchant's daughter and nothing more. It is not strange that you have the ex-captain of the Royal Guard with you. Oh! Is that a flower crown I spy? How lovely. But could I perchance trouble you for one? Lady Lilira, do not think that a crown will cause you to, uh, stand out over much? Not at all! This is a day on which all little ladies are princesses, is it not? Or do you believe that a crown will not suit one such as I? <laughs> my, my lady, uh, that was hardly my intention. <laughs> I jest, I jest. I will understand your meaning. Yet my point stands. As a little lady, it is fitting that I have a crown. And I would quite like one besides. I expect that everyone at home will be surprised. It has been quite some time since I was last a princess. Huh? Or shall I say, the role of Sultan Baldric indeed. Or shall I play, idiot? My lady, I am your royal sessionel. I only ask that you avoid any jests that may alarm your other attendants. I nearly perished on the spot. Oh, it's always fun to see Lily Ra. That is definitely one of my favourite reasons that Uldar is my starting city. Because you get the whole Lily Ra thing and it... Compared to the other two starting cities, the, the, it has a huge relevance on the story. Yep, next one. Give me the one that I want most. Give me, give me, give me. All right, who's the next Estinian? <gasps> Could it be the gar garland spoke of in fairy tales and romances? The accessory of my childhood dreams? A flower crown? Huh? Yep, that's the one. How wonderful! It will surely suit a fair maiden such as I. Don't you agree? Oh, I can hardly wait to show Bitter Snow. He'll fall in love with me all over again. There you go. Oh, I wish we got to see Lilira with it on. If it isn't Yellow Moon, I see you're enjoying your flower crown. We picked up ours from the Royal Sessionelle just a moment ago. Aren't they cute? Apple Bearer, you look positively precious. And you, Milia, are stunning. Somehow your steely gaze makes your crown all the lovelier. You should decorate your hair more often. I feel utterly ridiculous, but Alberta insisted I wear the thing. Come on, there's no use pretending. You know you like it, and you'll be turning heads for the rest of the day. One in head in particular, I'm sure. Not another word. Do you hear me? Now, now, no murder on Little Lady's Day. It's not ladylike. Oh, I would never harm. I think I've been saying that name wrong. What is it? A 
to Roberta. She's one of my oldest, dearest friends, even if she is constantly pestering me. Well, someone has to do it. Doodles. I wonder, can I pop sprint, talk to him, and get back without it running out? All right, come on, tap, 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 tap. We still have quite a few ladies to go. And see Chanel's. Ten seconds. Go, go, go. And it's go, go, go. Ooh, just. Right, who got this time? Who got? Little lady or Sishanel? Ah, oh, first repeat. Alright. I'll skip to him and get the next one. It had to happen sooner or later. Oh ho ho! Hey, it's Alex! Hi guys! We're here on our works business. We're here in the morning's guild we inquire about supplies and whatnot. But we hardly expect to see you to see you here. What brings you all down? Flower crayons for little lady? Ladies day? A nice idea! Do you is. I'll take one if you don't mind. Uh, if you say so. I'm not sure it'll match your goggles though. I'm not going to wear it. It'll make a nice decoration for our little corner of Alga's reaches all. We've been so harried lately. What was saving the world from Omega, sorting all the data since emotional issues. A floral decoration will bring some much needed tranquility in the place. Uh, that might be a bit much for one ring of daisy sandal. I'd rather give it a tot room. I think it'd bring out the pink in her eyes. She'd like it, wouldn't she? Here you go. Thank you kindly. It's so colourful. I bet Alpha would love it. Where are you? Oh, I hope he's learned about Little Lady's Day, wherever he may be. I bet he has. And all sorts of other things besides. Most of this world is new to him after all. He's probably having a wonderful time. So, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. Oh, Miss Alpha! Let's go, MG! We have more of the world to explore! Alpha! Hmm, I could swear I saw someone in the distance. God, I hope this is a, like, thing that steers for, like, every single event from now on. I want more Alpha! More! Also, interestingly, that specifically mentioned Omega, apparently, I mean, this isn't the first time, I think the Christmas event a couple of years back did this as well, the one at the orphanage, uh, you can't get that unless you've cleared the entire of the Omega storyline, which makes sense. The only thing I wish is I wish we could have seen Alpha and a Flower Crown. I want Alpha and a Flower Crown! Or OMG, that would be equally incredibly cute. And too much to bear. Alright. On to the next one. Hey, songbirds. Boy, if it isn't Alexander. I was hoping that I might find our biggest fan among the Seychelles. And here you are. It's 
wonderful to see you again. I am so worried that we wouldn't meet this year. Happy coincidence indeed. And before you ask, before I know you will, the outdoor performances aren't the main event this year. Our stage career is still going strong. I had better not see you threaten when you should be celebrating. So, uh, are you waiting for your princess to come along? Or maybe your session now? Actually, princess technically. Oh, I adore flower crowns. May we each have one? Of course. I'd be more than happy to oblige. Think of it, this seems to be the perfect opportunity for one of our signature friendly competitions. Shall we ask Alex to judge who wears the crown best? Now, this is technically unfair because I have a fear for it and it actually suits her best. Oh, absolutely! It never hurts to gorge, pu gorge? gauge public opinion, and I'm confident he will make the objectively correct choice. No matter how many times we do this, I can't help but feel nervous. But well, uh, Alexander, what do you think? Who does the crown suit best suit? I mean, there's only one. Only one choice. Only one choice. But the problem is, there's three choices, so that means that there's three times I've got to do this. But, I mean, who else is it going to be? Bear in mind, the yellow also matches her yellow really well. Me? I'm honoured! Thank you! I will remember your words, and I'm certain they shall help me find my voice in times of need. I know not whether it might be... No, I know not where or when it might be, but I look forward to the next time we meet. As do I. And of course, yes, I'm going to have to show off the other two options, if I can. Alright, take two. Well, I'm going to pick Ulala last because I just don't tend to like her. Alright, so we have Narumi, we've already done. The crown befits one of gentle, one gentle of spirit. Next time, or this time rather, we're doing Masha. Poised and graceful as a princess should be. I made her look so upset it hurts me so. You, me, I realised that I, it, it was I who proposed the contest, but I wasn't expecting to receive such a compliment. Thank you. This has been great fun. I hope we'll meet again soon. And wherever you go, remember that the songbirds are singing for you. Doodles. Alright, time for the last one. Ooh la la. Alright, ooh la la. She's so cute I could die. I bet she's like really big headed about it. Oh, I made her sad again. Ha! Huh, I knew you would choose me. I have no less pleased to hear it though. Thank you. See? Big headed. The songbirds will continue to flatter in hearts across the hills here. So, spare a thought for us when you wander far and wide. Till we meet again. It would be really cool if there was like an actual place you could go. Because there's like at least two bands, a girl band and a boy band. So it would be cool if there was like an actual place you could go to view them. Oh, new people! Alexander, are you helping the Royal Session now this year? How kind are you? If it isn't Mistress Serendipity, shivering with youth. Ah, oh, Tamman, I just realised. That was an old man voice. I'm pretty sure that's just a reflection of my accessories. But what brings you here, Master Hammond? 
How an old fist never forego a chance to celebrate with the ladies. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Keeps me vigorous. What about you, Mistress Serendipity? Do you require a session L for the day? Oh, we beat your bet and call. Managing your memories, polishing your hammers, delivering rigorous blows to the teeth of persistent suitors. Oh, my. That's very specific of you. But I couldn't ask you to do that. And your tutor would probably be less than pleased to find you a shoe in your own guild duties in favour of mine. Oh, woe is me. We're all 20. Actually, at uh, 40 years younger. If you would like to celebrate with someone, why not take one of these flower clowns to Shuto and tell her how much you appreciate her? I'm sure I should be delighted to have you help with some of the more tedious guild work for the day, at the very least. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah. Here you go. Make a princess of my ever devoted disciple, eh? Well, she certainly deserves it. Preserves it. I don't know what happened there. Had a bit of a stroke. Do you not want one? No. I've got plenty to spare. Oh well. Is that everyone now? I feel like there's at least one more. I might be wrong. Let's have a look at the tap 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 tap. All right, let's see. So we've had yeah 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 yeah. Ah no, there's at least one more from the looks of it. All right, well let's get to it. Ah, oh, thank God for that! Whew! Huh? You were an adventurer! Alex, uh, Alexander! What are you up to? Finding out flower crowns! Tis little ladies, dear! Giving out cranes for little ladies, day. Eh? Interesting! Shall we take one for the necker? Not a bad out, do you? She always did love it when we read the legend of the lost lady uh, as a child. She's been so immersed in her research lately, she's like, like we've forgotten about little lady day altogether, which means it'll be a pleasant surprise. There you go. Uh, she's a lucky girl to have you two watching over her. We're on the subject, Grandpa. Isn't there someone you you would want to give one of these crowns to? Oh uh, no, of course not. I'm far too busy training to ever think of such things. In fact, the bronze bull is the call of the arena right now. Uh, farewell. Alright, see ya! That only took like a million years! Phew! And we're done! Finally! Alright, so let's get this one last one. Alright, and with that, we have 250! So that was 25 times I had to do that for 7 people. Ugh. Alright, so we don't need... Oh. Right, we'll get one of each of them. Get one of them. One of them. And that's everything. Oh, that's going to hurt me that I'm going to be down to 249. Yeah. I show these every year, but it doesn't hurt. And let's zoom out a bit so we can actually see this one. OK, 
because it's the new one. It's a really nice one, actually. So I should really complain at getting a fair few extras. All right. So we have to head home. Yeah, that was home. So we can show off the two highest items. Rewards for this one are a bit lacking, to say the least. But the story was quite nice, so I guess I can't flip. I love how much of a mess my house is. It's so bad. I love it though. I mean, I could easily fix that by getting rid of the giant Namazu, but I'm not gonna. Oh no, I just realised. Ooh, eerie music. Do we have little ladies, dear? Uh, Simon song? Sure. I mean, it's technically not the Little Ladies Day song, but it was a Little Ladies Day song. And I can't remember what the other one's called, so it'll stay. All right. No, not inventory. Housing. Indoor. Oh my God, I'm so terrible at this. So we have the festival. Chirisuits. Chira Shi Zu Shi and Festival Sushi Balls. Almost identical. Uh, almost I I can't talk today, can I? Almost identical to normal Chirashi Zushi, but with markedly more festivity. They actually get really good bonuses. Way not bad. I can't complain. Off put by the oblong Oh my god, that's a word. Oblong... Oblong... Proportions of regular sushi. Well, your prayers have been answered. All the fresh fish and vinegar rice you, you love, ham-fisted in a semi-sophisticated spheroid, perfect for popping. For you. There. And you, there. Oh my god, it's adorable. Although, I have no idea what this thing on the side is. Like cake or something? It looks like a stack of post-it notes. <laughs> and that looks pretty nice. I'm not a fan of prawns. But... Still nice. Well, that's that then. And of course, we have the flower crown. So, uh, where is it? What? Do I not have it? I don't have it on here. That's surprising. Uh, emotes. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Do, 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 do. Uh, get rid of you. Yeah! Good thing I picked the music. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry it was rather late, but we still got to see Alpha. That's all that matters. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!